guys. How's it going so far? You've had a busy day talking about this great film, huh? Yeah, yeah. We just uh, we just started, but it's exciting. Comes out soon, and, and yeah. Uh, listen, it hits the ground running, and I have on good authority uh, that the two of you were buddies. Like you've known each other for what over twenty years or so. So it no brainer, um, you know, claim that you guys are going to be brothers in this. Well, listen, I, I told, I, so here's the story. I'm uh, I'm on my tractor. It's the end of the season, trying to get all the hay up for my cows. And I don't have a cell phone anywhere near my vicinity. And my wife comes, coming through the fields, right? And she's got my phone waving it in the air. And I'm thinking, you know, something must be, she goes, something must be awfully wrong. And she said, Max is calling you. Uh-oh. And I was like, so what? And she goes, no, he's called multiple times. You need to make sure his kids are okay. I'm like, oh, you know, because we've she's watched his children grow up. He's watched my children grow up. So I get on the phone and he's like, hey, dude, are we doing this movie? I go, what movie? I haven't read. I haven't seen the offer or anything. Right. And he goes, OK, so they want you to play the older brother. They want me to play this cop. But you got to read the script. We got to play the brothers. I'm like, all right, dude. So I, I, I get off the tractor, you know, that evening and I read the material. And sure enough, you know, it's kind of as you suggested, we've known each other for 20 plus years. And he is my big brother in many ways, you right. know. Um, so to have this opportunity, you know, we 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 were we were excited to kind of pitch it to Will. We weren't we weren't sure if he would go for it or not, um, but he was on board, and you know, it just allowed us to, as we were saying earlier, you know, we spent more time trying not to be goofballs and be silly because right. that's how we are a majority of the time with one another. Yeah. Uh, you know, we had to be badasses and that was quite a challenge. Yeah, I was going to say, you cannot be goofballs for the, these roles. And Max, I mean, uh, and I say this with all due respect and love, boy, were you an asshole in this? My God, like, <laughs> I, you know, look, I, I kind of get where these guys are coming from. I'll talk about Jamie in a second, but um, Mick, man, he's a hard ass, like tough nails. He's got a mission. And he, nothing is going to stand in his way. It's pretty darn brutal. I mean, yes, it's always fun to play the bad guy. But how does that connect in his head and go and, and justify him as a, as a character, as a person of what he does? I mean, what, one of the things that I loved about this character is that, you know, yes, he's, he's, a, he's a total a-hole and and uh you know and it, and it seems like he's recklessly violent and, and you know careless about his life or anyone else's around him but yet there's this element that he loves his brother so much right and, and that you know it there's a point in the movie where i and i and i think i have a line to this effect but where you realize that he, this he's doing this for his brother you know and and uh and i think that's what makes him attractive and it's what kind of one of the things that i loved about the character and you know and i and when clay and i were pitching this to will to play brothers you know i told will i said look we, we've known each other for you know two plus decades you're not going to be able to cast actors that have a history like that and and ours is there in spades right so we don't have to fake it you know and so there's scenes in the film like there's one in this apartment in particular that um if you saw it you know what i'm talking about but where we start talking about our history yes and i mean it's one of my favorite scenes that i've done i think like it truly i i was like i was in the theater going oh my god this is uh you know it's, it's heartbreaking. Just, it it's really heartbreaking. kind of was heartbreaking because yeah. they're in this situation, right? And there's just no way out. And, you know, Clayne, you know, what really got me, like the opening scene, here you are, guy going to work. We don't know yet what's going on, but he takes his baby, you know, and he's holding this beautiful child. Like, okay, mom, can you babysit tonight? You know, whatever. And I, whatever. Are you sure you're okay to spend the night? And we're still not sure where it's going. Then he gets in this van and I'm like, uh-oh. Uh oh, trouble, you know, and it was heartbreaking because clearly he wants to make a life for his family. Is this the right? Like he, he's so torn. I don't know how you got through some of this? No, it's fun, isn't it? That kind of to play someone who's in a tug of war, you know, with his heart, right? And yeah. um, um, unfortunately, the thing that he's most comfortable with and that is his life in a lot of ways doesn't align with his future. Um, 
and it, it's definitely interesting circumstances uh, as an actor. It, it's it, it, so again, having Max be on the other side of that um, made it exciting. And I think sometimes you can be hesitant because you're not quite sure what the other actor is going to bring. Mm. Um, and with this guy, you know, it was just that part of it was all confidence. So it was just more about making sure that we showed up every day and tried to do the best work that we could. Yeah. Um, Max, can you take me through that opening shootout scene? My God, I don't think I've ever seen anything that long, that crazy, that intense, that choreographed um, sh gun shootout in, I don't know how long that was unbelievable yeah well we we i mean we we went through a, a training period for that and uh and we will had it uh blocked out before we got there so we did a lot of prep for it so when we when we shot it claim would, would we shoot that for like two days or two and a half days or i think with the interior of the bank it was two and a half yeah. Wow. So, I mean, it was, a, it, we were out there for a while doing it and uh, yeah, it's, I mean, it's one of the longer yeah. I think I've ever been part of and I've been part of a, a few. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like how much, well, like we were talking about the prep of it and stuff, but yes, I mean, Max, yes, we've seen you in, in these movies, like 13 hours. Oh my God. Like your performances are amazing. But when you pick up that gun and it's so intense, like, uh, I, don't, I just, I don't know, like the prep for that. And mentally, how you get through something like that. I know it's acting, but, you know, it's intense. It, it goes also to Scott, um, who was, you know, former Navy, SEAL, former Navy SEAL who was training us. And yes, a, a majority of it is to to look the part and to be accurate in how we operate the the firearm and, and so forth. And that we, we look like the real guys because we want to make sure that the guys that actually have served, you know, that we're, we're paying, we're, we're yeah. paying honor and tribute. Right. Um, but at the same time, these guys, we go into it with the confidence of, of the safety, like we just, it's, it's every day from the moment we get to training is safety, safety, safety with these weapons. And that's not only for ourselves, but everyone around us. Of course. Uh, and then I think overall respect. And when you have that and you put the work into it, you know, it's like Max and I were both athletes growing up. And when you train and you do the work and those lights come on, it's just second nature. And you're able to have fun at that point because you've done all the work leading up to it. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it was really, really well done. You guys are both so great. And so you were saying, you know, it was hard for you to not be goofballs, but I was hoping, you know, when it's a cut, like when scenes are, how do you lighten the mood on a set like that, Max? <laughs> We, Clayton and I have no problem lightning. <laughs> Clayton and I get reprimanded for lightening the mood too much. No, we, uh, we, uh, we, well, you know, I think I said this in a different interview, but we try to turn every movie into a comedy. It's just like, you know, it's, in fact, we're trying to, to sell Will, the director, on letting us do an action comedy next. So, yes. um, yeah, no, lightening the mood is, is, uh, is not a problem. Um, we have a lot of fun. We've did, this is our fourth project together and, and yeah. uh, oh my God. I mean, we've, we've had more fun together, I think. Than, uh, I always we, leave set working with Max. I come to set with a belly. I leave with abs because we just laugh the entire time. Is so, that the way you do it? I've been trying, I see, I haven't been doing it. Right, see? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think from this interview, maybe I'll maybe I've had a few abs. I, I hope so. But listen, I really appreciate your time, uh, both of you. My God, I, I just honestly I can't get some of the images out of my head. You guys did such a great job in this film. So congratulations, best of luck with it, and thank you for your time today. I really appreciate it. Thank you, and hello, Brandon. And I have two little uh, half Canadian boys or, or dual citizens. Oh, so, so like, where in Canada are they? From, are they half Canadian so, from? Their their mom is from Vancouver, so okay. uh, yeah, there uh, we have uh, some Canadian ties. Well, we'll take it. Well, you guys are welcome to Toronto anytime. You're welcome with open arms, and uh, I'll take I'll take it for a, a beer or something. Okay. There we go. Beautiful. Thank you. All right, Bonnie. guys. Thanks for your time. Bye. Take care. Bye bye.